In the side games presents Rise in Fighting World Grand Prix 2016, Amir Alyakbari, Valentin Moldovsky, the winner, will take on Mirko Krokop later on this evening. You know, and this is this is an interesting question. You know, if you're Mirko Krokop, which one of these men would you rather face? Would you rather face a heavier wrestler? Or would you rather face a more well-rounded, sm well rounded smaller man closer to weight here? And I, you know, I don't really know exactly what it is that Mirko would be thinking in this situation. I think Mirko would rather go with the un uh, less experienced wrestler. Really? Uh, we saw yesterday. Once you put your hands on him, he was in some trouble. And it could be true. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we see Amir really rushing, rushing the Russian actually. <laughs> Good call there, Heath. Joe Ferrara here alongside the Texas Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse Heath Herring, and of course the baddest man on the planet, Joe Warren. Amir Al-Akbari here rushing in there, trying to knock out his opponent. To my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, Heath, perhaps what Moldovsky wants to do is try and get Al-Akbari to the second or third round. You know, I, really, I felt he's really doing a really good job of keeping on his feet. He doesn't look like he wants to go to the ground. He's actually trying to avoid Amir. Amir's doing a good job trying to work him into the corner. He's throwing big shots. But I'm, you know, this is the kind of situation we might see. Uh, we saw yesterday with King Mo and Mirko, where the bigger once Mirko was able to land some shots on him, he was definitely able to hurt him. Yeah, I mean, Modalski is doing one thing that's strange. He's moving into his power. I, that's a very good call there, Joe Warren. He was just sitting there and he was getting too close. He was making this fight, bringing it into a phone booth, which is what you don't want to do against a wrestler. Right. And we see what we see. Modalski really just being relaxed right here, taking his time. He's in no hurry. So we're going to see the submission uh, prowess of Modovsky here on the ground. You see, he's absolutely relaxed. He's locking, uh, he's over the over the shoulders now of Amir. He's locking him up. It's really tough for Amir to try to get that neck out. Yep, and this is where I talk about bringing your head back inside, mm -hmm. getting underneath that chin. Absolutely. And if he can posture back up, this is where Amir will do his damage with his punching. But, Amir's using a lot of energy right now compared to what Moldovsky is. You see Moldovsky completely relaxed in this situation. He's actually just, he's not using much power at all. He's just, he's just in, a, in a grip right now. So he's actually making Amir carry his weight and try to get himself out. Yeah. Go ahead. You are right, Amir. One, uh, you know, Jiu-Jitsu 101, you do not post your hand flat on the mat. And these are situations with a new fighter where sometimes you get into some trouble. And look for the referee here if action does not continue and there's no submission there. Unless you see that gun sign, there's no submission. The referee would stand them up, but Amir is able now to free himself. You know, and I'm wondering if, if from the fight that they saw that Amir gassed a little bit in the first round, if, if maybe the idea of Moldovsky is to come out and really tire Amir out in this first round and then maybe turn up the pressure on him in the second. This you, is can, you can tell the coaching here, Joe. You can tell uh, Moldovsky, he's just holding on to him over and under hook, trying to bring him to the body so he can get, cannot create that distance to land those heavy punches. Right. Amir yeah, Moldovsky. working valiantly to get that left leg free. You do not want him inside control or a mount. Moldovsky does give up his back, though. And we're seeing here, so we're like halfway through the round right now, and we're seeing if Amir's going to start gassing again. Yep. We might see somebody go flying, perhaps. Yeah, that takes <laughs> a lot of energy, though, from Amir. And you see Moldovsky doing a really good job of getting between the ropes to keep, to keep from getting put in that salto position. Three minutes. Very technical battle here going on, gentlemen. Yeah, and, I, and it takes a lot of energy to do what Amir's doing as a wrestler, to keep all your pressure right. on him, keep that weight down. It takes a lot of energy. That's why you saw him break a little bit with you, Heath. Yeah, and I think, I think actually, now that I'm seeing, I think that's Valentine's game plan. I think it's a little bit of a war of attrition. Try to kind of grind him down this first round. Don't get him to do anything too crazy. Just kind of get him trying to gas, and then I think he's going to try to turn up the heat in the second round. We've seen a lot of game plan, right, Joe, from Madalski. I think the, uh, his corner is a very edgy educated uh, big man coaching team. I think I this agree. is exactly what they wanted him to do. The further this fight goes, the bigger man will be sucking a lot of oxygen, and we can see it right now, Moldos, or it appears, correct me if I'm wrong, Alec Bar is now beginning to breathe heavy, but he is working. He is working. He is working. He's got the clinch. He's trying to get that trip takedown. This takes a lot of energy see, from a wrestler. And if you guys notice, you'll see Moldovsky actually looking up at the at the Jumbotron. And I think what he's doing is that he's looking at the time. Mm -hmm. I think he's just absolutely, it's just a war of attrition at this point. He's letting, he's trying to make Amir gas himself out. And, I, and we're going to see what happens at the beginning of the second round. That's what I was speaking about is his coaching also, Modolski's. Uh, you, you know, the hands get, down on by Amir. He looks fatigued, gentlemen. Team. Yep. Hands are but I'm sure he's bit. been in this position many, many times. It appears yeah, like he's it's actually fatigued. backing out. Yeah, you're right. He is backing up here. We're going to see Moldovsky. footwork. Look yeah. at his footwork. We saw this two days ago. Started to move. He's now not going into the body. Goes to the body yeah. with that left kick. 
Good call, Joe. Oh, and a combination throw by Babaldovsky. 20 seconds left in the opening round. Yep. Some blood coming from the nose of Amir Akbari. Uh, in the second round, I think there's going to be some fireworks to yep. him. Moldovsky also has Fedor in his corner all the time in practice. And there he does so it again, Joe Warren. Moldovsky with the right hand, swing, just faking it. What's coming? Is it my left or is it my right? And here again, you see, he's just absolutely grinding it out. All right, gentlemen, round one is in the books. Who do you have it scored for? I think I got, I got Modalski winning uh, that round first. I think really? his, his pressure looked good. I think he was moving well. You seeing uh, Mir hit him with that left hook and come forward. I just didn't see much damage. I saw a bigger man end up getting on top, but not getting the job done. No, I mean here you see, I, I, you know, I have to, I, I have to respectfully disagree. I think, I no think problem. actually the round would go to uh, Amir, You know, at, to get the takedowns. I think he's landed the most damage. I think we saw uh, Moldovsky actually fighting a smarter fight yep. by, by actually trying to gas the bigger man out. But I would definitely give the first round to Amir. If you are Mike Swick and you are in Adekbari's corner right now, what are you telling your fighter? Suck it up. <laughs> you got to get that air in. Take a relax. The guy is trying to grind you out and be ready. I think I think be ready for a hurricane coming out at the beginning of this round. And let's not forget, gentlemen, Prokop defeated Baruto in seconds. Exactly. Yeah. These two guys are now entering the second round, and it could be another long one, perhaps. It could be a short one, but either way, they've expended more energy yep. than the Croatian. Now, Valentine looks a little bit more fresh. Yeah, Valentine's bouncing a little more. We'll see if he comes out, moves I away think, from the power, and makes sure that he, he does Valentine's not get turn into a wrestling the match. I think you're right, Heath. I think there you go. You're going to start to pick up the pace and really try and fatigue yep. and have Alec Bari make that mistake. But the problem is now he's behind one round. Yep. But he's really got to pick up the pace and put some damage in now. I think his, I think his, his first reaction was to try to gas him, but now he's going to try to pick up the pace. Combinations, and, hooks being thrown now by the Russian. Alec Bari responds to his own combination. There's a problem with being at, fighting a heavier man. It's big tank versus little tank. If the big tank hits you, you could be in trouble. Alec Bari's hands are coming down a little bit, though. And it looks like Moldovsky's trying to cross those feet when he throws those combinations, working his angles. Correct. Amir, see, it looks flat-footed. Moldovsky looks like he's on his toes. He's moving real well this room. Now, this is a situation that Amir obviously wants to be in, in a, in a, in a walk-up position. Oh, Moldovsky, and we see Moldovsky Great really putting, up the, putting, up, putting on the pressure this time. Oh, he needs to get out of the corner, though. This is the, oh, he oh, throws a right hand. Right. Fantastic straight ride. He is getting out of dodge, working those angles, sticking and moving here. Yeah, Moldowski's really picking up the pace now. Moldowski maybe go to the body a little bit here, drop his hands, Amir, a little bit. Oh, Amir, go for the nice. takedown. That's exactly nice what Amir like Barley wanted. Yeah, this is not the position that Moldowski wants to be in, the bigger man on top. We are only a minute 15 into the second round here. This is Moldowski back his up. power position. You know, Moldovsky looks like he's trying to, actually, I was trying the exact same move last night. I think Amir's way too good, though, I think, for, to, get, to get caught in that position. And we, we see Amir wanting to take the takedown. Nice little leg trip. Keep it on top. Let's not kid ourselves, though. Moldovsky has a Sambo background. Absolutely. Those legs can be grabbed at any one point in time. Yeah, he's got a Sambo background, but he's got a big, strong oh, Greco-Roman world champ on top of him that understands hip pressure. Right. Now, you see Moldovsky looking up at the clock again. I think he's ready to start turning up the pressure. But he's got to get the big man off his back. We're seeing him here. Oh, yeah. He's going for that Kimura again. And you saw him reaching down for the leg right there. Got to love the referee. Stop, don't move. Don't move <laughs> until I tell you to move. Yeah, he's a big dude himself, Heath. Amir Fantastic. wants to stay right here. Double underhooks, we pressure got into got the side of this, right this ring. It's a great position for him. He's going to step around and then bring, end up bringing Medalsi to his back with a body lock if he can. He just lost that. Now they're in an over and under position. He's digging that underhook right. back to a double underhook. This is a very safe position. Go back to muscle memory. It's right. a wrestling move. It's right. for a Greco guy. Mm -hmm. we're, we're past the midway point of the round. Right. We have about 2.15 left. Okay, now Moldovsky again looking up at the clock, looking up at the big this screen. This Moldovsky, absolutely, the break here. I think Amir was actually, right now I've got Amir ahead in this round, but Moldovsky obviously looking fresher now, looking to fill, land, big, land big shots. A sense of urgency now with Valentin Moldovsky. Perhaps he believes he lost that first round. He needs to pick up off. the pace here absolutely. and finish off his opponent, or at least win this round. Yeah. Do you agree, Moldovsky should maybe start that front leg kick? 
I, I think it's a little bit late now to start okay, you the front leg kick. You need to start early in the round. At, you absolutely have to start hurting, working on a leg and hurting him. Yep. Um, it really looks like Alikbari is loading up for something here. He wants to get there. It is the knee there. P Moldowski felt that there. Oh, nice left hook. Just the missed. night of the knees. And really, this is just where you see weight taking, the, you know, weight making the, the difference in the, in the clinch. Now, Moldowski's doing a fantastic job of moving on the outside. And Mir's really dropping those hands. He's got to be careful. We saw a little bit it's of tired. Moldowski now with the double underhooks. Absolutely. Try to foot sweep. He's going to an over and under clinch. Yeah, this just doesn't benefit Moldowski. I don't know why he's clinching. He needs to stay on the outside and try, no, to, he, try to land shots. You I are think. completely right. He needs to dig under hooks here and go back into a double under hook. There we got him here. He's going to go for the double head. Now he's going to go into a single leg. Got Gets nice the takedown dump. here. Less than one minute to go in the second round here. Cy Games presents Ryzen Fighting World Grand Prix 2016. Amir Alekbari. He was the favorite coming in to this tournament. Moldovsky took that away, but it's Amir right now controlling his Russian opponent. Yeah, and really Moldovsky's either got a submission, got to get a submission or a knockout here to, to win the fight. He's got 35 seconds to do so. Referee's calling a stoppage here. Or asking elbow. for Oh. He elbow. Uh, I mean, remember, no elbows allowed right. in the tournament bouts. It looked like a forearm to me. Now this absolutely benefits Moldovsky. This is it. There well, could be. Want to? Oh. Will there be? Is there a foul? A yellow given? card here. I think it was the elbow. Not allowed to throw an elbow. Okay, now this changes things considerably, gentlemen. Yes, I believe. I didn't think there would be a third. He's round. asking him to go to a neutral corner. It looks like there could be one. Thirty coming. seconds now. The doctor has checked on Moldovsky. The referee has stated you are not allowed to throw an elbow. Is it a point deduction or was it just a warning? The best thing that could have oh, happened. Oh, a body shot on the left Absolutely. hook. This is it. Moldovsky, can, this, is, this is his chance to win it now. Yep. 24 to seconds to go. Head nice. body hook, head body hook. He's going up and down the ladder. Amir has got to keep those hands up and come out now. He need, He's losing this. Yep. Moldovsky needs to also move in, throw those elbows. Well, you can't throw elbows. 10 seconds to go in the second round here. Oh. And a great punch landed there by Alekbari. Just missed. Beautiful action here, Superman punch, overhand right. Again, here it comes. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. I, we go okay. to the judges' scorecards. <laughs> it looks like here Moldovsky may have pulled off the second round. Do you believe it was Alekbari? It could be 2-0 Alekbari. It could be 1-1. It could be 2-0 Moldovsky. Did, was, there a, did, was there a point deduction by the referee? That's my question. I don't believe. Let's take a look Here's here the at replay. the replay. Left hook. Overhand right, pressuring into him, finishing I mean, I, the single leg. He's grabbing onto the ring. The ref keeps. Slapping. I wouldn't be shocked if we get a third round, gentlemen. I wouldn't be shocked either. Oh. Wow! Split decision. Amir Aliakbari wow. defeats Valentin Moldovsky, and he moves on to the finals to take on Mirko Prokop Filipovich in the final tonight. At Cy Games presents Ryzen Fighting World Grand Prix 2016. The belt will be wrapped around. Championship. Round one.
Action! Action!
Championship round two.
エルゴクロコプ選手の勝ちとなりますИван Штырков, Джеронимо Дос Сантос. Вот по тому, что я слышал из прогнозов, большинство прогнозирует... Да. В пользу Ивана говорит даже статистика. Он чуть полегче, побыстрее. И у него гораздо более внушительный на данный момент рекорд. Плюс опять... Да, ну и 60 боев. Тем, тем временем. Да. Ух, здорово справа. Аперкотом справа попадает до Сантос. Да, видимо, решил сразу он всех скептиков опровергнуть. Ух, слева теперь Иван попадает. Да, видимо, гораздо увереннее стал в стойке двигаться Иван. Правда, он, видимо, уходит, но вот то, как он уходит туда, возможно, закручивает. Да. Так, перевод. Но здесь без особых проблем, наверное, что и неудивительно. Но да, нужно удержать. Хорошо перевел. Что было бы странно. Да, и мы слышим, Николай Попов говорит, побыстрее. Еще один перевод в партер. Позиция full mount. Но правда сбрасывает, пытает, да, сбросил, сбросил с себя. Но при этом Сантос. пытается забрать Сантос шею через везде. руку. Штырков. Пытается придушить сейчас, но отдает в итоге ногу. Все еще пытается забрать шею. Судя, судя по всему, придушил все-таки Иван. До Сантоса сейчас вырваться, но делает он это, тем не менее. Хороший мидл кик от Штыркова сейчас. О, -о, -о, -о потряс! Да, в итоге да. попал локтем. Потряс. Возможно, Потряса сам давить. не ожидал Иван, поэтому не сразу бросился добивать. Ох, не пропустил. Нет, не пропустил. Пошел. Пытается сейчас повалить Джеронима, получается у Ивана это. Оу. Штырков, оказывается, выходит из него. Но ногу захватывает до Сантоса. Активно сейчас борются бойцы. Очень жесткий удар пропустил Джеронимо до Сантос. Да, минута до конца раунда. О, -о, -о слева Штарков попадает. Да, это играет как против бы, как него. Бы не подвело это Ивана. О -о -о. Очень открыто работает Штарков. Ивана не дать завести ноги бразильцу. Вот так роботический трюк нам показывает Штарков. Концу. Да, судя по всему. Да. Отработали оба бойца. Мы видим мы, что не сбылись прогнозы скепки. Прогнозисты против Дос Сантос. Да, вот, кстати, интересно подсказывает мне сейчас коллега. Николай Попов в углу Ивана Штыркова. Тренер 
очень многих успешных боксеров РМК Боксинг Промоушен. Вот эпизод. Да, вот этот удар. Я думаю, Иван хотел сделать бэкфист, а получился удар локтем. И он сам не сразу понял, что произошло, и бросился добивать с небольшим опозданием. Да, вот мы видим открытые действия Ивана Стойли. В настроении. Чемпион UFC в легком весе. Драгон идет вперед. Поддавливает. Два удара не точно, вскользь. Тем временем поддавил уже О, сам соперника. В область печени пришел Очень удар. хорошая вертушка сейчас вымахивается, скажем так, Иван. Вот сейчас сам роняет своего соперника. Сам бразилец подставился буквально под этот тейкдаун, но встает. Нет, я думаю, нет, нет, нет сил, нет сил. был неплотный, поэтому, да, Иван решил не тратить силы лишний раз. Очень хочет он в маунт, не пускает его Штырков. Переворачивается. Габаритов да. сказывается, он встает, ему удается вставать. Здесь это правда, здесь он перевешивает Ивана, Если поэтому он чуть... удается встать. Для, Для него сейчас... разница в весе, скажем... Ведут сейчас Ивана по времени. Да, три минуты еще Он слишком. Подсказывает начать Но... работу. Да, Штурков решил немножко перезагрузить ситуацию. Но это... Фактически сейчас рефери не может их поднять в стойку. Но подышали бойцы, вот появились у них силы. Очень тяжело двигаются оба бойца. Начиная сейчас обрабатывать корпус. Эти удары в туловище. Вышел Штырков, но видно, видно. работал Николай Попов. Я думаю, с этим проблему Ивана О, нет. Очень медленный был тягучий проход в ноги, который без проблем Сантос заблокировал и сам. Еще и бросил, бросил сейчас Ивана. И сам бросил Хорошо. до него полминуты. В принципе, не так и много, конечно. Вот мы слышим, как весь зал сейчас гонит Штыркова вперед. Он получается у Ивана. Очень затянутый, медленный. Сейчас потратил он лишние абсолютно силы на этот тейкдаун. Опустили руки уже оба бойца. Мы видим, как тяжело. Попадание в исполнении до Сантоса. Они были в целом скользь, конечно. Штырков да, вот, попал. Вот он, хороший удар. Вот здесь сам подставился под тейкдаун. Да, Сантос. пошел без оглядки вперед с ударами Жеронима. Хорошая задумка по выходу, но, к сожалению... Да, удар пришелся вскользь. Ну и вот этот бросок. Вот, он... Да, можно сказать, эталонный бросок. Тянут время. Но здесь, я думаю, что и Ивану Штыркову. Ивану Штыркову. Ну, в прошлый раз это закончилось... Стоит вестись. Ох! Не точно, но очень опасно, опасно было. Может, это Посмотрим. вообще какой-то спектакль. О, Посмотрим. О, нет. Да, сейчас, сейчас вижу. Работать. Отправляется сейчас вперед до Сантос, как паровоз такой с ударами. Медленный. Пытается сейчас на ходу в оборник чинить клетку. Вот да, сейчас минуты остается. Оба держат руки внизу. Сейчас, мне кажется, Ивану нужно то, о чем вы, коллега, говорили, показать. Но я... при этом бойцы пока еще в партере. Вот. Я думаю, что вот сейчас на этом все и закончится. Идет сила Иван на последний удар. Нет, видно, что все. все. На этом поединок заканчивается. Интересно послушать судейское решение. Да, согласен. Будет очень интересно услышать судей. Жеронимо до Сантос Мондрагон. Отжимается Жеронимо. Почему? Где тогда эти силы были в конце, например, финального раунда? Сколько там тренер? Почему он не мог 8 ударов нанести за те же силы? Ну, это бравада. Ну да, На наверное. суде она уже тоже не повлияет. Счет выставлен. Нам тем временем дают несколько повторов. Вот эпизод, когда Иван очень близок был к тому, чтобы оправдать большинство прогнозов и выиграть да, досрочно да. в первом раунде, но... Сантос восстановился. Это уже эпизоды второго раунда. Вот хорошую вертушку провел Иван в том эпизоде. Результат 
ничья. Итак, большинством решений. То есть один... Ну, может быть, может быть, это и самый справедливый Мне, мне результат. кажется, это закономерно. Может, да, был, да, действительно, не тот, ни другой, наверное, не сделали не для победы. Не ни у одного, ни у другого именно выносливо. По сути, вот уже с начала второго Просто. раунда. Почему он не мог 8 ударов нанести за те же силы? Ну, это бравада. Ну да, На наверное. суде она уже тоже не повлияет. Счет выставлен. Нам тем временем дают несколько повторов. Вот эпизод, когда Иван... Очень близок был к тому, чтобы оправдать большинство прогнозов и выиграть да, досрочно да. в первом раунде. Но Сантос восстановился. Это уже эпизоды второго раунда. Вот, хорошую а вертушку провел Иван в том эпизоде. Первого раунда уже было видно все по лицам, потому что, мне кажется, они просто не ожидали друг от друга такого начала поединка. Может быть. Вот и все. Может быть. Мы сейчас так. слушаем Штыркова. Иван скажет пару слов. I need to uh, apologize real quick to uh, champ champ Ryan Bader. I said earlier <laughs> Kimo is the champ at 205 because I remember Bader winning the heavyweight tournament yep. for Bellator. I forgot that Bader is actually champ at 205. Yep. And, uh, and uh, so light heavyweight and heavyweight. And I apologize, Ryan, for screwing that up. Please, please don't hit me when you see me. <laughs> Ryan's a great guy. He's a fantastic individual. But he's still Actually, I might an antagonize him to hit you. Yeah, I thought you would. <laughs> here we go. This is for the strap. Elbows are allowed in this fight here. It is only three rounds, by the way. Five minutes per round. We've seen these two compete before. 2015, it ended with a King Mo victory just over five minutes in. It's a knockout, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Mo's really good. Staying in the pocket, keeping that constant pressure on. But he's got to keep his defense up. Because Prohaska will throw from weird angles, different times, different pacing. It makes him very difficult to, to train for because he doesn't have a real rhythm to his punching. He no. come at you. You're absolutely correct. A lot of guys, if you really watch a guy fight, he's got a rhythm. He has a pattern that he follows. Prohaska does it. He'll switch stances on you all the time. And on a surface level, looking at this fight here, you would think that be King Mo will be taking down Prohaska at will. Prohaska's got this penchant for just always getting back up. Wash, rinse, repeat until somebody gets tired. And that's the thing is that it's exhausting if you're always taking the guy down and always gets back up to his feet again. So then becomes a point of like, oh, why am I about taking him down? He's just going to get back up. It does, it's not really scoring me. And it's just a scorecard. And so right now, Mo has kind of thought that process out from the very beginning. If not him, then Steve Mako or Mark Brown are both in this corner. Right now. Well, Mako is. I just don't know if Steve is still in there or not. Still gauging the distance here. Mo was able to get that job and throwing the overhand right. Oh, a slap right there. A stock to slap. I'm sure King Mo will call it something else. That thing that worked. <laughs> Triple jab. Right hand there thrown by Prohaska. He's starting to pick up the pace. You're starting to get that, that jitter. Yeah, he's starting to move a lot more. Yeah. The shakiness. No staying in the pocket though, Frank. Going the right there. He's chasing a little bit. Good job by Prohaska using that footwork. Now he's coming in with the jumping knee. Got, took a punch for it. Mo's trying to push him back. Fake the takedown. Threw a right hook. Wow. Roski did a great job of getting out of the way of all the punches. Yep. Under two minutes to go here. King Mo just ate a jab. Working on just getting out of the way. Body shot landed by King Will. Prohaska is just keeping it outside. Circling away from the power. 
Noel's trying to tap, you know, obviously time the head movement there. Yeah, his, um, his biggest pretty, issue is that his right, Mo's right arm, the way he's throwing his right overhand, is not straight. So he's very short every time he throws a punch. I don't know if he's doing that on purpose to try to draw Prosky in, or if it's a flaw in his game plan right now. He's landing square with that jab, though. You can hear his corner, King Mo's corner is saying, put him on his back. Level change, put him on his back. Good kick landed by Mo, winding up there, trying to get that punch. Now has got him in the corner now, look for another jumping knee, no. King Mo gets out of dodge. Wants nothing to do with it. Oh, and a right hand landed there by Vodhaska. 40 seconds to go here. You hear the, hear the corner, Frank. Take him yeah. down, Mo. Take him down, Mo. He's got to take him down. He's starting to get lit up a little bit. Yes, sir. He's blocking every other one. He's saying, don't risk it, Mo. Just get the takedown. Mo staying there in the pocket. Looking for that jab, looking for that left hook. 10 seconds to go. Both guys throwing the right hand. Bobbing and weaving. King Mo bobbing and weaving there. Round one is in the book, scheduled for three. One of these two gentlemen will walk away the first ever light heavyweight champion for Ryzen. Joe Ferraro here alongside Frank Trigg, Yokohama Arena. Frank, if you are in the corner of King Mo, what are you telling him? You can't take the risk of standing in front of him anymore. He's woken up. You gotta attack, you gotta attack. The only way for you to attack, effectively wrestle. Get inside, make it a little dirty. Start doing some foot sweeps. Start getting him off balance. You hit him a couple times, he fell up, and he fell down. Use that to your advantage when you leg kick him. Like you see right here, he leg kicked him, he put him down, but he attacked his head, he didn't attack his legs. He's gotta shoot like a real wrestler, like a wrestler would. That's Mo's biggest attribute, he needs to use a lot more. And if you're for Hoska score, keep up doing what you're doing. You got to keep that movement going. You got to keep away from your keep away from your legs. The, the biggest thing for him, if he stays off his back, is for sure to win this fight. If he doesn't get put on his back, it's very hard to beat a guy like Prohaska because the way he moves, the way he angles, you hardly ever hit him. Seconds out. Both staring at each other, laughing at each other, smiling at each other. Prohaska is just amped up right now. Overhand right there, yeah. It's, all, it's hitting all arms, though. Yep. He's got to find a way to sneak behind it. So behind the jail. You know, as soon as Prohaska's back hit the ropes, he immediately circled out. He's, I think he's sensing the fact that Mo's trying to just sort of pin him back. Here's the takedown attempt there. King Mo looking for the double. Sprawl there by Prohaska. Now a guillotine attempt for head control here by King Mo. Pass the head. You don't have it. Go again. Go again right away. He feels good about getting out of the takedown. It's less of everyone at home. You try a big attempt, the guy blocks it, he stops it, he spends all that energy stopping it. Then you do it again to him, he's like, he takes that moment of like, oh, I, I beat it, I can, I can hold off now. Psychological. They do it to him right again, he's like, oh, jeez, I have to fight this off again. Is that slowing down, Frank? I think so, yeah. Superman punch there attempted by Prohaska. Looking for that left hook. There it is. Hey, okay, got it. Most throwing the combinations, but could be a good entry point for a takedown there. Prohaska does a really good job of getting out of the way and cornering off. Yep. So you know he's going to corner away from you. So keep attacking the head. Keep punching the head. Let him circle off, and that's when you shoot. Or as he's punching the shoe. Careful when you see Prohaska bending like that. There's a flying knee coming down the pipe. His feet have to be stationary. Oh, he's landing that right hook yeah. twice. 
And Mo's not moving out of that corner. He's got too much. He's got a high pace. I don't think Mo can keep him with the pace. That's the yep. problem. Carrasco just keeps throwing. Cap kick by King Mo. Keep that left hand up. Drift right. Track right. Right up the middle of the free kick is Prohaska. Now he's got King Mo in the corner. Right hand thrown. He got to stay in his face. That one punch is going to work. Sit behind a jab, throw a couple of hooks. Like Hands up, Moe's well, lost the snap in his jab. He's throwing the arm out there. Nice right landed there by King Moe. The right. acknowledges it. Cut him. Two minutes to go here. King Moe's mouth is open now, Frank. Yeah, he's got to back some air. Right. 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 He did cut up for Hoska. That right hand split him up. He's not even, see, Mo's not even attempting any kind of takedowns. Yep. Just that one, and he got beat off it. Blood's in the eye. You can see him for Hoska wiping it off. Oh, clash of heads wow. there. There's a left there by Prohaska. He's staying close though. He's keeping it in the phone booth. And now the referee's gonna look at this. This. Do not stop this fight for a title. Yeah, I know. The worst way to win a title fight is yeah. also. You want to get find some kind of completion. Yeah, I get safety, 100%. Well, we just want to see a conclusion in this fight here. Okay. <laughs> Rosca's already come out of the corner. The fight does continue. He's got nothing but Minute 15. Action. Sorry? Prohaska's got nothing but action. He doesn't know how to shut down. You know, you know how to break, he doesn't take a break. Yeah. Smart move by Mo there. Keep tagging that eye. Stay in, his, stay in his face. Oh, nice uppercut to Rafa wow. loading it up again. You hear the sense of urgency in King Mo's corner, barking out their instructions. Oh, Prohaska is just moving his eyes around, confusing King Mo and then throwing that right. Oh, front kick right to the face. Keep oh, holding wow. up there. Right uppercut, left hook. Rasta now. Ten seconds to go. Rasta did a great job of attacking, keeping him on his heels. There's a jumping knee. Right again. Missed on that one. Two rounds in the books. Wow. I mean, it'd be crazy to judge a fight on two rounds, but Prohaska's ahead. Yeah, right now. He's pushing the pace. He's got more, doing more. Um, even though Mo did more visible damage with the cut, he's still doing more pressing the pace, um, doing more overall damage. Prohaska is. I mean, that was just a punch that was landed by Mo. There it is right there, right? He was able to connect it and immediately split him open. Yeah, it was, it was instantaneous. Right How tired is Mo right now in that corner? He's now under pressure. Third and final round. That's five minutes of you having to keep the pressure up. Second out, Seconds out, please. Seconds out. There goes Lenny Hart. She's going to start yelling at someone, Frank. Oh, no, they're getting Get out. The <laughs> All you guys. Here we go. There goes the 
takedown attempt here by King Mo. Now a knee here by Prohaska. Stop the takedown. Great sprawl. And there's King Mo landing that right again. Follow the quick hook. Oh, a nice punch there by Prohaska. Mo's not backing away, Frank. Prohaska does a good job of pushing his way in, pushing his way out. Left hook there, single leg. No, he almost had that. Oh, he's trapped in the corner, Frank. You can hear King Mo's corner saying, fast hands, fast hands, fast hands, but he's not able to react. Mutual respect by both fighters. Yep, talked it out. Yeah. Oh, and a right hand landed there. Right in the ear. Mo answering back with the right hand. Slip by Prohaska. They continue to throw leather to each other. Just the power's not there for either guy. Well, Prohaska throws so many punches, he kind of overwhelms you. He doesn't really need to have any power. Punches by numbers. His elbow attempt there. Spinning elbow there. Mo saw it coming. He hasn't thrown a punch. No. Nope. And Prohaska's landing combinations here. King Mo's footwork is all but gone here. It's been about 35 seconds, 40 seconds since yeah. he thrown a punch. Still two minutes and 50 seconds here. King Mo's exhausted, Frank. He's not moving at all. He's just staying in that full move, throwing punches, following Prohaska around, but he's punching back. This is how we beat him the first time. Mo is just standing. He'll go out on his shield, yeah. Frank. He will go out on his shield. He's exhausted. He's not moving. You can see that left hook that landed on King Mo's right ear. Oh, legs wobbly there. Just barely, barely get a takedown in. And now Prohaska is basically could technically be paying, playing target practice here. King Mo covering up. King Mo's covering up. Prohaska's going in there for the finish. That was it's over. Yeah. We have a new. Light heavyweight champion here at Ryzen. King Mo just simply was fatigued. Prohaska noticed it, picked up the pace, and ended the fight. They showed a, his his copy of the book on the Ryzen Confessions. That thing is worn out. Yeah. Get a digital copy. So there. Yeah.